Hi everyone, let's create simple sunset palm trees painting with acrylic paints and this is a very simple tutorial good for beginners or who never painted before or very simple art parties at home uh, just follow instructions and you can achieve something like this and I'm going to explain what we're going to use uh, next so I hope you enjoy it Okay, I quickly explain what we're going to use today. I'm using a canvas, stretched canvas, 25 to 30 centimeters. You can use any other size or even paper. You can use acrylic part or oil, oil part that's have a good thickness. I'm using acrylic paint, just the primary colors. I'm using yellow. This is magenta, uh, tallow blue, any like cool blue color black oh, sorry black and white this is colors we need uh, you can have any yellow red and blue but if you use red it's going to be hard to achieve beautiful purple colors so please use magenta any pinkish red colors i'm using a big size brush this is flat this is flat medium size brush and this is a small round brush. I'm not sure if you're going to use this one. Definitely this too. Maybe even not using this one. So um, just a cup of water uh, and paper towel just to clean and dry brushes. Okay, let's start. We're going to start very simple. Uh, creating sky with a big brush. Dip it in the water. And I'm going to use just dark blue color. Dark blue color to start. And just brush strokes. Just like one layer. Little one layer. This color. Then I'm going to add a bit of pink to mix purple color. I'm using more pink, less blue, because blue is very strong. So I'm using more pink, so to make it a bit pinkish purple. I'm adding even more pink and it's kind of blend my new color to my previous color. Let's clean our brush. Clean brush, dry it. And then I'm going to add a bit of white or purple to make a bit lighter purple or pink. Blue. Clean my brush. A little tip to blend colors. We can use clean dry brush and just go between these two colors again. Just soften this. Layer. Clean brush clean. Then I'm going to use pink color. Just pink and a bit of white. White, pink. Again, I just blend my new color to previous color. More pink, more white. Approximately halfway through, we have these purple pinkish colors. Clean our brush. Then I'm going to make a bit peachy color. Make sure you have clean brush. And we have pink here. I'm adding a bit more white and just a little bit of yellow. A bit of yellow, a bit more. So now it looks more peachy color. I'm gonna add it to the sky.
make sure there is no blue in this peachy color if you add any blue it's gonna be more matte color not very bright so we use this peachy color clean our brush again then i'm going to use yellow with a little bit of previous peachy color and also a bit more white this is kind of the dark yellow The last color I'm going to use, make sure clean your brush. I'm going to use yellow, just yellow and a bit of white, but make sure it's clean white, no other colors. Very bright yellow. Okay, now we have first layer of our background. We can wait it, let it a bit dry, and then we can add some more colors on top. Okay, now my canvas is dried. I just dry it with hair dry. It just took me one minute, very quickly. And I'm going to use my medium sized brush now. I'm going to add kind of little cloudy, cloudy brush strokes. And the idea is to add uh, different colors to another color. So for example, I'm going to use this. I add some fresh paints, some yellow and white to make some light yellow and maybe a bit of pink, kind of this peachy color again. And I'm going to add somewhere here a bit of like little clouds, like when I have strokes of clouds. To spread some paints, spread some paints. I'm gonna spread some on pink, but not many. I'm gonna spread some of this in my yellow areas. So I spread some colors and I clean my brush. And with a clean, dry brush, I'm gonna blend it a little bit. So blend it a little bit to my canvas. So make these clouds a bit more like in inside canvas kind of smooshing smooshing look like this but it works only when it's wet when paints dry you can't blend it like this so make sure you work fast or just do one cloud at a time so we're gonna add more on top so some of this this one already dried i can't blend it if you can't blend it you can just grab some of this previous color for example this yellow and I'm gonna blend it here with this cloud again. Just with acrylic, you can add as many layers as you want. Actually, we can spread some of this nice yellow, and it's gonna be like a yellow clouds. I'm gonna spread some of this in pink areas. I would like to add some pinkish clouds. So I'm taking some pink with white and I'm gonna add it somewhere in yellow areas, yellow peach areas. I'm gonna add some of these clouds. Maybe just tiny bit here, just little one, not much. I clean my brush and I'm gonna blend this cloud while, while it's still wet. Once it's dry, it's gonna be hot to blend. Now it's done. done. This one probably needs some more yellow again. So we can back and forth, come back with some previous color, or kind of even color at the all. So I can come back with some pink again. So we can back and forth using previous color, new color, 
and just blend it. What if I add some really bright pink? Just a little bit of just clean, vibrant pink. This is a bit transparent, so magenta paints itself very transparent. So it's going to be a bit of blended very nicely. Go over this one. Kind of. We can spread some of this pinky magenta to purple. Just a little bit. Purple sky. Purple clouds, sorry. Pinky clouds to purple sky. I think I would like to add a bit of darker purple here, just a little bit. Uh, be careful with purple and yellow together, because if you mix them, it's going to be kind of grayish color. We don't want it on sky. I don't want you. If you want, you can make some grayish colors, but I want more vibrant colors. So I'm going to add a bit of this purple, just on pink area, because with pink, it's safe to blend. A bit of this pinky, a bit here, just a little bit here on orange areas, and I'm gonna blend it. Blend it, blend it with clean, dry brush. Blend it with clean, dry brush. A little bit. I think I'm going to over with some pink again here. So you see, we can add as many layers of these clouds as we want. Just make sure your brush is not very full with colors. So it's a, a little bit sort of like a dry brush. If it's going to be too much, it's going to be more textured art. We're just making a layer of clouds here. I think this is too strong. I'm going to soften it with pink. Maybe pink and white, actually. A bit of white. Actually, you can add, leave some more sharp edge. Don't have to be blended all. It can be more sharp. So sky looks like kind of like this way now. I feel we can use just white as well, just a little bit. Maybe a little bit of white can be nice to add. Some yellow areas, just blend some white. And some white, very soft, soft white touches. Some white going to be blended. This is, I feel like, too strong again. I'm going to add more pink. Just make it. Actually, I'm going to make it a bit peachy color. Instead of white, I'm going to make it a bit peachy color. Clean my brush, dry it, and then I just blend it a bit more. So you can add as many layers of these clouds as you want. I feel like it's enough. Uh, however, maybe I get some pink back here. I feel like it's too yellow here. I didn't want it to be too yellow here. So just back some pink. And now we're going to work with palm trees. But before we're going to add palm trees, we need to let it dry again. Leave it for five minutes or use hair dryer. Okay, my canvas is dried and ready to go. Uh, I'm going to add palm trees. If you're scared to, to work straight with black, you can use white to outline your palm trees. And then 
You can use, uh, this is where you can use your small brush for outline, or you can use medium sized brush and just edge of the brush. I like to use medium sized brush. I need to grab some black, black now, black, black, black. Make sure it's thin, oh, I have some white here. Make sure it's like not very blob, but thin layer. And I'm going to add palm trees. Palm trees can be added anyway. So let's put a dot top part. I'm gonna add one palm tree gonna be coming this way. Then I'm gonna add another one coming this way. And maybe a few palm trees coming this way. And there's gonna be some small one. So we're adding guidelines first. Some lines. You can also spread some here. Give this one a bit. And once you're happy with your lines, you're gonna make them a bit thicker. Thicker, thicker lines. Thicker, make them thicker. They don't have to be straight. The palm trees is not perfect lines. They are like trunks. They're not perfect. So we're gonna add these trunks. Thicker them. This is a bit. Maybe there's some more small one. One more small one. You can add as many palm trees as you want. Mm -hmm. The next part, we're going to add lines for leaves. Again, I'm using my medium size brush, but if you want, you can use small one. And I'm going to add lines from top, like very thin lines. You can add as many as you want. I think around five, six is a good number. We're adding lines in here. Let's add lines from this palm tree. Definitely for smaller ones, we can use small brush. I think this line, this brush is a bit too big. I think we can swap to small one now. Use a bit of water. Add some lines. Okay, this is our lines. Now we can add fronts. I'm using medium sized brush and I'm going to follow direction of each line. Follow direction of each line. Like this way. And don't press too hard, very light pressure. This is our one fronts. Can I add another one? I'm using the edge of my brush. Feel free to use small one if you would like. So we're going to add this to all these lines, but for smaller one, smaller palm trees, I'm going to use small brush. This is just one of the simplest way to do palm trees. Okay, then I'm gonna swap to small brush. This one. I'm gonna add brush strokes here. Don't use too much water. It can be dripping if it's too much. You see small brush not giving such good 
brush strokes. That's why I like to use flat brush. Get a small tiny line. Here we are, we have all palm trees added. Make sure it's till the end of the canvas. I would like to add some highlights, just a little bit like from the sky. I'm gonna mix yellow, bit of white. Just a tiny bit of pink, probably like this peachy color. The water is really black now. This peachy color. I'm gonna add some highlight to trunk. Just a little bit. Can be still wet. It's okay. Kind of highlighting. Kind of highlighting. Don't have to add to all palm trees, but maybe the thicker trunks. And also, I'm going to add some highlight to leaves. Just a little bit. Little hint color. Actually, uh, it's good to add some yellow on the bottom. And maybe we can add some pink. Oh, I forgot this one. <laughs> I forgot this one. I'm going to use some pink. Pink for highlights as well. Some pink and white. We have some pinky sky here. Some. See, we can we will lose a bit of this black because of dark sky. So we can use a bit of this pink highlight. This one. Don't go too crazy with highlights. I feel like this one a bit too much. I'm gonna come back with some black. It's very easy to come back with some black. And also, I forgot this little palm tree here. Here we are. Here is our simple palm tree painting. We finished. You can have a look how simple it is. Just simple palm tree painting. Well done. If you tried this um, tutorial, please share with me your results. You can leave a comment if you like it, if you have any feedbacks. It's just my first video, so please leave a feedback how I can improve it. If you like it or don't like it, uh, I would love to know um, to have any feedbacks about it. And if you tried it, uh, I would love to see how it looks like. Just maybe send me a picture. Thank you. Have a good day.